Welcome to our online manuals. In this video, we will show you how to configure our software to adapt it to the format and resolution of your video scoreboard. Let's remember that the software draws on the Windows desktop, the graphic content to be displayed on the video scoreboard. The first thing you must ensure, in order to obtain the best image quality in the video marker, is to achieve a pixel-to-pixel -pixel relationship between the Windows desktop and the video scoreboard. For this, it is necessary that our video scoreboard shows only a part of the desktop, not the entire desktop. With this, you avoid two problems. First one, distort the image. Normally the Windows desktop format is 16 9 and video scoreboards, especially the smaller ones, have other formats. Showing an image in a different format than yours causes a distortion of it. The second problem is the loss of quality when reducing the image. Viewing an image smaller than yours produces a loss of quality in the displayed image. If your video scoreboard is configured to display the entire desktop, we recommend that you contact your provider to change this parameter in the display settings. Viewing the entire desktop on the video scoreboard does not represent any advantage. And neither does it allow the person who manages the software to view the generated image and the control panel on the same desktop. This, which may seem minor, provides greater comfort of use, since in some stadiums there is poor vision of the video scoreboard from the speaker's booth. Also, generating a large image implies a greater consumption of computer resources. In any case, our software can generate the scoreboard image on an entire desktop, as we will show later. To ensure a pixel-to-pixel -pixel relationship between the Windows desktop and the video scoreboard, you must access the Windows display settings, and check the following. Set the scale at 100%. And normally, set the screen resolution to the highest one. In this way, you will have that one pixel on the Windows desktop corresponds to one pixel on the video scoreboard. Once you are clear about these basic concepts, we are going to configure our software so that it adapts to the video scoreboard. As a starting point, must choose a video scoreboard design among all those available in our demo. In the next video of our online manuals, we will teach you about how to customize the appearance of our video scoreboard. To configure the size of our video scoreboard, go to the Configuration tab, Formats, General. Here see the size and position of the currently generated image. To convert actual design to our size, click on the Resize Wizard button. Indicate the new size, for example 768 by 480, and press the Transform button. Now, the image generated have size of 768 by 480 pixels. The image will be placed in the upper left corner of the desktop, is by default where the video scoreboard captures the image. If you need, can move the generated image through the position coordinates, 0, 0 corresponds to the upper left corner. By increasing the X coordinate, moves the image to the right. Increasing the Y coordinate, moves the image downwards. If you need to generate the full screen image on the second desktop, must carry out the transformation indicating as the size of our video scoreboard, the same width and height as the resolution of the Windows desktop. Indicating at the X position coordinate, the width of the desktop resolution, you will send the generated image to the second Windows desktop. 
Also you can configure the size and position of the control panel, which is useful, especially if you work with multiple screens. Generated image to be hidden by any Windows window. When you are configuring the software, can be useful to disable this feature. For this there is the option, on top. If you have followed the previous steps, the video scoreboard should be showing the generated image. In the following video we are going to explain how to save the changes made in a configuration file and how to load them in the future. If you have any doubt, please contact us.